In this video, we're going to be learning how to install tools, software or packages on Kelly Linux. We are also going to be learning how to install custom tools made by other hackers. If you are an ethical hacker, it is very important that you understand what is package management. In Linux, packages are basically a collection of files bundled together for the purpose of installation, updating or removal. You can think of packages as any tool that you install on the system like Nmap, Metasploit or simply Google Chrome. And Package Manager is a software tool that handles everything from installation, configuration to the removal of the tools. So let's see how to install tools and software with the most common package managers on Kali Linux. The first package manager that we are going to be checking out is the DPKG package manager. DPKG package manager is specifically designed for Debian system. Since Kali Linux is a Debian distro, DPKG comes pre-installed on Kali Linux. Now let's see how to install a tool with the DPKG package manager. I will first open my browser and go to google.com. For the purpose of this video, I will download and install Google Chrome. In the official Google Chrome website, if I click on download Chrome, I can see for Debian distro, we have a 64-bit .deb file. So I will click on accept and install and Google Chrome.deb file got downloaded in my downloads directory. In this directory, if I open the terminal and do a ls, I can see the Google Chrome.deb file is present so .deb file is the file that you need to install with dpkg package manager. Now to install the .deb file, I will type the command sudo space dpkg space dash i for install space the name of the file and press enter and Google Chrome will be installed in my system. If I click on the Kali application menu and search for Google Chrome, I can see Google Chrome is present in my system. So this is how to install a file with the dpkg package manager. Now we are going to learn how to install a tool with the apt package manager, which is perhaps the most easiest and the most common way to install a tool. In my Kali Linux, the first thing I will do is open my terminal. And before installing any tool with the apt package manager, the very first thing you need to do is update your local package repository. And you can do that with the command sudo apt update and press enter type the password for your user and press enter and your local package repository will be updated. After your local package repository is updated, you can install any tool. To install a tool, type the command sudo apt install the name of the tool that you want to install. I'll be installing the tool foremost which is a data recovery tool and press enter and the tool will be installed in your system. If you want to confirm whether the tool is installed in your system or not, you can check the help menu of the tool. So type the name of the tool space dash h and press enter so with this output i can confirm that the tool has been successfully installed in my system if you want to check which tools are installed in your system then type the command dpkg space dash l l for list and press enter and it will give you an output of all the tools that are installed in your system if you want to remove any tool then type sudo apt remove space dash dash purge space the name of the tool i'll be removing the tool that i installed earlier which is foremost and press enter continue press capital y and then press enter and the tool will be completely removed from your system the next package manager in our list is the python pip package manager pip is a package manager for python it is technically not a package manager for kali linux but since most of the hacking tools are built on python we need to learn how to install tools with pip so in your terminal first install the pip package manager with the command sudo apt install python 3 pip and press enter continue press capital y and then press enter and pip will be installed in your system confirm whether pip is installed in your system or not with the command pip3 space dash dash version and press enter i can confirm pip is installed in my system to install a tool with pip type the command pip install the name of the tool i'll be installing the tool the harvester which is a osint tool and press enter and i can now confirm that the harvester tool is successfully installed in my system with the help menu to see which packages are installed with pip type the command pip list and press enter i can see these are all the packages that are installed with pip the next way we are going to be learning how to install a tool on kali linux is with git now git is not a package manager of kali linux you can use git to install custom tools any hacking tools out there you can install with git so open your browser first and type the name of the tool that you want to install space github i want to install a tool called kali anon surf this tool will help me become anonymous while using kali linux and press enter now you will see many github link click on any of the github link when you're on the github repository on the upper right corner 
you will see fork and star. The higher the fork and the star is, the more reliable the tool is. Now since this tool is reliable and trustworthy and used by many people, I will install it. Now first we have to clone the repository to our system. So first click on code and under HTTPS, click on this link to copy the URL. I will then go to my desktop and open the terminal here. After the terminal opens, type the command git space clone space paste the URL that you copied earlier and press enter. I can now confirm that the directory has been cloned in my desktop. So after the directory has been cloned, I will change to the directory. And inside this directory, I can see that there are many files. How do I know what to do now? So for that, you need to go to the GitHub page. And in every GitHub repo, there will be a file called readme. So if you scroll down, you can see the readme file. For every tool, the installation process will be different and it will be written on the readme file so you need to do exactly what the readme file tells you to do for this particular tool i can see it is telling me how to use this repo but first we need to install it so if i scroll down i can see it is telling me how to install it so i will copy the command here and go to my terminal and paste the command which is dot forward slash installer dot sh it will install this file so i'll press enter i have to run this script as root and the tool will be installed in my system. So how to run the tool? Again, you have to go to GitHub. It will be written in the readme page. So here I can see to start the tool, I have to type anon surf start. So I will type here anon surf space start and press enter. I keep forgetting this. I have to run the script as the root. And my tool has started. It made my whole system anonymous. If I go to the site dnsleaktest.com, I can see my IP address is completely changed and it is showing me that I'm from the country Hungary. So these are the different ways how you can install tools on Kali Linux. That is for the end of the video. If you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kali Linux or ethical hacking, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.